Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to make a larger sublimation print image for you to use on your t-shirts, on your bags, or for whatever you want to put your sublimated image on. Now, we all know that within Cricut Design Space, we are limited in the size we can make our designs to the, I think it's 9.25 by 6.75, but I'm going to show you an easy, and I do mean easy, alternative to creating a larger design and getting it printed on your sublimation printer and placed on your design. Now, before this tutorial, I put this design right here on a Cricut shirt. Now this size, the size of this image, it is right at about, I wanna say that it is nine by nine, but I'll show you how I made this image larger because I'm gonna put this exact same image on a sublimation blank drawstring backpack. Okay, and I'll show you my full step-by-step -step process as I always do. At the end of this video, if you find this tutorial helpful, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications. Also, please leave me any feedback down in the comments below because I appreciate your feedback and I use it to continue to grow. All right, so without further ado, let's look at the materials that you will need in order to create a design just like this. The materials that I'll use for this project include, I used a Cricut shirt before starting the project. This is a men's size medium shirt. It's the Cricut brand, in case you're interested. I am going to also use butcher paper. I'm using these bags that I purchased from Amazon. Um, they came with, I wanna say there are 10, 20. There are 20 drawstring bags in here. I'll use a lint roller to go over the bag before I press. I'm using my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press. And I will also use, um, this is what one of the bags looks like. I'm going to put my, it's already in here, my heat uh, press mat inside the bag. Because from the reviews that I've read about these bags, it is advised to put the bag, it, put the pillow inside the bag to make sure you're only pressing the safe space for sublimation. I'll also use my Cricut heat resistant tape. The design that I'm using, I purchased from Design Bundles. It is this one that looks like this, and it just says my attitude is having technical problems. That does describe me most days, <laughs> depending on the situation. Okay, so without further ado, let's move over to the computer and look at how to upload the image into Microsoft Word and how to resize it so that you can make it as big as you want to for the project that you're using. Okay, let's get started. I am on the Design Bundles website and I am a plus member of Design Bundles. The file that I'm using for this tutorial I downloaded it as one of my plus membership files. Okay, so when I look, I was just kind of scrolling through to look at the files. And let me just say this as a disclaimer, I love being a plus member of Design Bundles because there are so many, um, I, I would say deals and uh, perks of being a plus member. This is the file that I downloaded for this tutorial and it is worth one credit. And you can see that I've already downloaded it. And it said, and I'm not a gold, I don't have a gold membership. I think mine is either silver or bronze. I have the lowest of the plus <laughs> memberships. Okay, so once I look at it here, it says uh, download. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna click download again. It's asking me, do I want to do that? And this does come with commercial use, okay? So that means that I could download this file and if I wanted to sell this on a t-shirt, then I could do that, okay? So when I click download, there's a folder at the bottom or an image at the bottom left of my screen. So now this file is already downloaded on my computer, okay? So now what I'll do is 
first I'll show you what it would look like if I wanted to put that file in Cricut Design Space. So let's just say, for example, I was connected to my Cricut Maker. I could be connected to my Cricut Explorer if I wanted to. But for this, just for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll say I'm connected to my Cricut Maker. And I wanted to upload that file that I just downloaded onto my computer. Okay, here it is right here. It says my attitude is having technical problems. When it comes in, it comes in big already. Okay, and I see this triangle right here, which lets me know that it is too big for what Cricut Design Space will allow. Now it says image too large. I'm looking at the right panel reduce image to 6.75 to 9.25 or less so let's see what that will look like on a t-shirt okay so let me do that let me click unlock and let me what does it say let me look at it again okay 6.75 so i'm going to click six i'm going to type in 6.75 and i'm going to type in 9.25 because that's the largest i could make it now that looks a little bit weird right let me go to undo because I don't want to mess with the uh, uh, ratio of it. Let me go to my project template. I'll go to a uh, classic t-shirt. And remember, when you go to your t-shirt templates, it's not going to actually print anything. It's just to help you get your image sized the right way. Okay, so I know that this, this image, the way that it is right now, is too big. Let me change the template size to a women's medium shirt okay so i'm gonna keep bringing this down until i don't see the triangle anymore and let's see how big i can get it okay so i'm going down to 13 12 11 okay it's still still too big at 9.5 because i still see the triangle right here so i'm going to still keep going down because i don't want to mess with the um, the ratio because this is like in a circle shape and I don't want my image to look like an oval, right? I want it to still have this same look to it. So right now I'm at 8.875 by 8.781 and it's still too big. So I need to still go down even smaller, still going down. I still see this um, triangle over here because remember 6.75 what is it 6.75 let me click check it again yes yeah, 6.75 is the largest so look at how small so far and this is still too big this is how small this image would be on a shirt if i were to print this within cricut design space so i'm going to keep going down until i don't see that triangle anymore i still see the triangle and i'm at 6.8 okay let me keep going down okay the triangle is gone and the triangle is gone and the size of this image is 6.685 by 6.615. Let me bring the view up on my canvas just so we can, you know, I want to be fair and have a good view of what we're looking at. Let me bring it down to 50%. Okay, let me bring it. I think I better bring it back down. Okay, so this is what the, this is the size of the image. And I think we can agree that this would be too small for a t-shirt okay so let me just kind of play with it right here i'm just going to click this up arrow and see what happens okay i'm still looks like i'm still in the safe zone i don't have uh, an error now i do okay so i would have to the biggest i could go is 6.8 by 6.8 seven to eight okay so that let me write that down so that when we get to microsoft word we can compare so the largest i could do this design in cricut design space the width would be 6.8 by 6.728 for my height okay i'm going to close this out i'm not even going to save it because i don't plan on printing my image from here Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just close it. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes, I definitely want to quit. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is go to Microsoft Word. Let me just um, go to File and I'll go to New and I'll go to a blank document. Okay, so now I'm in a blank document. What I'll do now is change the margins on my 
uh, page. So right now the view on my screen is at 91%. I'm just bring, I'm going to bring it down to, let's say I bring it down to right at about 75%. So you can see this is just a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Okay. So the first thing that I'll do is bring the margins out. I will move the margins out as far as I can, as far as it'll let me go. Okay. So I'm going to keep going far out. I'm going to keep going out over here to my right. And I'm also going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to bring the margin up almost to the point that I don't even have a margin and do the same thing over here. Okay. So right now I pretty much don't have a margin and I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a picture from this device. Remember that file is a PNG file and it was the one that says my attitude is having technical problems. When this file comes in, it is already at 8.19 by 8.19. And if, you, as you can see, it's already bigger than what was in Cricut Design Space because remember, Cricut Design Space only allowed us to be at 6.8 by 6.728. Okay, so now this is one way to, you know, use the file. If I right click on this on my mouse and I go to wrap text and I choose the tight option, okay, I have the option to now move this file around on my paper and I could even try to stretch it out a little bit more so that I take up as much of the paper as I can and make my image even bigger. So if you look in the top right corner of my screen, it is at 8.79 by 8.79, which is still bigger than what I was offered in Cricut Design Space. Now, let me show you another way to look at this. Right now, the view on my screen, the paper is in portrait mode. I can change the layout of the paper, the orientation to landscape. And I can, so remember my margins are still stretched out, okay? I can, let me double check my orientation landscape, okay. And the size of it is eight and a half by 11, which is exactly what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go to wrap text, it's still on tight. I can move this. Now I can still try to stretch it out even more and see if I can kind of move it up. Let me see if it'll let me move it up. It's not giving me the option to do that. Okay, so it looks like the biggest I can go let me see if I have another option in line. Let me see. No, I was trying to see, and I'm sure there is another way to um, move the text, but I'm not 100% sure. And I don't want to just waste time playing with it on this tutorial. Okay, so it looks like if I go back to home, the biggest image, that's my easy press letting me know that it's ready. I could go is, let's see if I stretch it like this, is 8.9. Okay, and it'll kind of cut this bottom part off. And if I wasn't concerned about that, then I probably, I probably go for it. Um, but I don't want to do that. So I'll bring it down to right at about 8.8. .8. So within Microsoft Word, it will allow me to print my image right at about 8.8 .8 by 8.8. .8. Now remember, this just all, it also depends on the, the shape of your image. So mine is circular and this is what it's allowing me to do. Now, if mine was more rectangular, I could have it stretched all the way out more on this paper. Okay, I have it the way that I want it now. Now what I'll do is go to file. I will click print and I'm not going to save this because I'm only gonna print this one more time. And I am using my Epson Workforce 7820 printer for this tutorial. Now remember, this is the big printer that I used that I um, converted a couple of months ago. And I know that some people have had problems with this printer. I have not had any problems with it at all. I'm going to click on printer properties. I'm going to have my sublimation preset and I have print preview selected so that I can double check and look at it before it actually prints out. OK, 
okay so now i'm going to click print and i'll get a preview of what that looks like okay it says your margins are pretty small do you still want to print i'm going to click yes Okay, and this is what it should look like when it prints. It should print like it's backwards because my design should be mirrored since I'm using sublimation. So I'm gonna now load my printer and click print and everything that I'll do from here will be back on the camera. So now I'm going to click print. This printer is pretty slow, so I will get it started. This tray slides out and it will start to print. It's going to print very, very slow. I'll speed this part up. I have taken my image from the printer and if I were using my bigger heat press, I would just lay this on the plate of the heat press. But since I'm using my easy press, I'm just going to allow it to hover over the image to make sure that the ink is completely dry. I'm just letting it hover over. I'm not touching the image. It's close to it, but it's not touching it at all. And I'm just going over it and making sure that the ink is completely dry before I start to um, get it pressed on the drawstring bag. All right, I pressed it on 385 for um, 45 seconds. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm, ooh, ooh, that looks so good. That looks so good. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the finished product. And what am I gonna say? I love it. I love it. I love the way, <laughs> I'm so excited about how these came out because once I started to look at the reviews on these bags and I started realizing that people were having a problem with um, melting the corners and melting the string, I was worried about having that same issue, but I think my saving grace was putting the heat press mat inside the bag and only being you know, careful to press on the safe space of the bag. I love the way this turned out. I love the way my shirt turned out and they are pretty much the same size. So hopefully you can see that in Cricut Design Space, we were limited to right at about 6.8 for um, our circular design, but when we took it over to Microsoft Word, we were able to get it at 8.8, .8, and that is fantastic. I'm so excited about the way this project turned out. If you learned something and you found this tutorial helpful, please consider hitting the like button, subscribing to my channel, and turning on the bell for notifications, because I do upload new content every single week without fail. You saw that I used my Epson 28, um, 7840 Workforce printer. I haven't used that printer in a while. I used my Cricut 9x9 Easy Press, and I did this whole project without using a Cricut at all. So hopefully this was helpful as I've already stated. Thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.